So I had a little bit of fun in the introduction there, and a little bit of fun with what's going on with this particular bag, but anyway, um, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing on bagging, as it were, for you. This arrived here on my doorstep in Korea today. You can see where it came from. It came from, well, Goruk. This is a Karyology collab edition of the Bullet 15. The Bullet is one of my favorite bags on Earth, hands down. Um, in fact, today I was using this, which is my favorite Bullet 15. This is the original Bullet 15, like the very first one. And I'm gonna unpack this and put it into here as we go in the video. This is called the Kaiden, which is a um, Karyology collab. It's the second Karyology collab with Goruk, the first one being the Gorilla GRXC1. Um, I'm a pretty big Goruk fanboy, so take this, whatever I say from the rest of this video, with a grain of salt. But, we're here, so let's talk about it. Now, I woke up in the wee hours of the Korean morning and clicked my finger off to um, purchase this guy. Yeah, yeah. I don't use knives for this kind of thing. Well, there's the bag, Let's see? As usual with Gorok, there are some stickers. This is a very cool one. Oof, monster, monster. Ooh, that's a that's a nice one. I I like that. Uh, Sandlot Jacks, I believe, is something to do with Gorok as well. Something that's done by uh, Jason from Gorok, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Put these over here for now, and uh, let's look at the main attraction. So this is the Kaiden Bullet. This is a VX21 or a an X-Pack version of the Bullet 15. The Bullet 15 until now has been in Cordura fabric, either 1000D or 500D, depending on which one you have. Um, this is the first one that's sort of an escape from that into this X-Pack material. X-Pack is um, generally speaking lighter. Uh, the VX21, the 21 stands for a 210D, which is the polyester face on this guy or nylon face, I don't know, the face anyway is 210D. Uh, again, not a whole lot of uh, technical facts gonna be spewed in this video, let's just have a quick look at it. So there is that, I don't know if that's useful for you or not, but uh, we're gonna get into it. I'm never really sure how to, I think we can kinda, let's go on it from this side, yeah. So let's get a uh, first look at that patch. It's actually a very cool patch. It was designed by somebody in New York, I believe. Um, if I remember their name, I will talk about it in the review. My very, very first impressions are that it's very light. It feels very light, and it also feels very bullet 15-y. Um, nothing too amazing or interesting to report so far. One thing I can say right off the bat is I know for sure the newest 15 liter Gorux, the 500D versions, the, the regular ones as it were. I know they definitely have a number 10 YKK zipper here nowadays. This looks to be a number eight AquaGuard zipper, which is a little bit of a difference. Um, this front one looks to also be a number eight, so it looks like they went eight, eight. Normally it's 10, eight, I believe on the newest bullet. On the older bullets, it was already eight, eight, so uh, like the one I'm gonna show you in a second. Uh, molly webbing or pals webbing down here on the bottom, just like on normal ones. I mean, it's not exactly molly or pals on Gorux, it's a little bit different. The spearhead has survived the trip into Kaidenism, um, which is uh, either here or there. The straps feel very similar to any other Gorug bullet, and the back panel is uh, the same material that VX21. You can see characteristic of the VX21 is the diamond shaped pattern, which is um, you know, something to keep in mind. Quality-wise, everything looks to be stitched and together and uh, happily... Oh, uh, I know what I need to do. Just so you know, that bit at the beginning was a joke. I will, uh, you know. The straps are, are, are pretty good. The webbing here feels very normal. The bag itself feels, uh, it's very light. It definitely feels light. Um, probably a little bit lighter than the standard one because this material is light. This front pocket um, is the first time we can have a look at this yellow, or sorry, yellow, orange liner in here. And the front pocket goes all the way down to the bottom just like it does on all the modern Gorux. Um, you'll see a slight difference between this and the 
old one that I'm going to show you in a minute. Ah, probably the main attraction of this bag as opposed to the other one aside from the material, or as opposed to the newest one aside from the material, is this pocket here, which is uh, the quick access pocket. Now it's a little bit stiff and it's a little bit small. <laughs> That's what I'll say so far. It's like sunglasses, wallet, maybe my phone might be able to fit in there. No, my phone will definitely not fit in there. Uh, size, it, my phone does fit in the GR or GX, G, GRXC1. So this is definitely a smaller pocket. Um, definitely very small zipper pull here in orange, but I could see it being useful um, as it goes. If we open up the main guy here, uh, the zippers are smooth enough, no flap on the bullet. Now, there are usually no flaps on the bullet, so that's not something to differentiate this model particularly. Um, the material is a little bit stiff. X-Pack material like this always tends to be a little bit stiff. It doesn't have a whole lot of give. I'll just flex it out a little bit. And uh, yeah, there, we're looking at the inside. Uh, the says bullet rock carryology built in the USA. I mean, that's a very small carryology mark there. So if that's something that bothers you, well, don't be bothered. As characteristic with all Goruck bags, the top pocket here has a different color zipper pull that is Coyote, which is cool. So that means this bag actually has three color zipper pulls. So black, orange, Coyote, and then of course black again. This inter internal material here feels something like 400D pack cloth or something like that. I don't know the actual material, um, but it feels good. I actually quite like it. Uh, there is the same material here. This top pocket is typical of any Goruck and it's quite big and spacious. Maybe I will um, show you how that packs out in a second. This mesh pocket back down here, oh, this mesh feels amazing, so very good here. Um, the, mesh, the mesh can kind of um, change between different Goruck models. This mesh feels very nice. The bottom of the bag is padded well, and uh, there is this sleeve back here, which apparently fits a laptop. Now, it does go all the way down to the bottom, so you're not going to be like super protected with your laptop in here, but it will fit in a pinch. This is the inside of that quick access pocket, so this is one of the drawbacks of that quick access pocket is having this. Before we go, let me just pack out of this bag and into that one. So let's start with that laptop. So on this bag, I put my laptop in this back compartment here. This is a 15.6 inch laptop. Um, my Bullet 15 is modified to be padded the whole way around on the bottom and the drain holes are gone. That's just something to keep in mind. If you're looking for one of these, yours probably will not be like that. So let's see if my laptop fits in there. It does and uh, it fits in quite well. I will say, I think in use, this pocket here is gonna be a bit annoying with the laptop because it's gonna be in the way, especially if it's full. Let's, uh, let's test that out. Let me see. So I think what I'm gonna put up in that pocket is my wallet. And if I stick it in here, so that fills up that pocket. And I mean, yeah, it kinda, kinda gets in the way there. Not too, too bad, but definitely something to, it's, it's, it's a lot different than the way the two compartment is, but it, it works. I'll say it works. You go into the main compartment here, just have a couple of pouches. So this is a truck login pouch, stick that in the bottom. This is a Philip Robok pouch, which is custom made for me. Keep that there. I don't tend to put anything in these mesh pockets unless I'm traveling or really need the space. Um, you saw that I used this pocket on this bag, but I used that top pocket on, so, you know, it is kind of what it is. Just this pocket doesn't have that. Now on this bag, because it's an older version, the pocket actually only comes to like here. So this front pocket tends to be a little bit better on the older ones, but we all tend to make do. So in here I have my mask, my hand sanitizer, and my keys. So, out with the old and in with the new. The Kaiden 15, which has now become dirty with my dirty thing. So, I won't be selling it for $8 million. 
But uh, yeah. That's my quick first look at the Kaiden Goruck Bullet 15, Carryology Edition, blah, blah, blah. First impressions, they're quite good. A couple of nitpicks, which I mentioned. So other than that, uh, I'll have a ton of content on this bag coming up soon. So it's going to be directly compared to this, plus directly compared to the newest 15 liter Goruck, which is almost the exact same bag with different materials. That is coming up within the next couple weeks. And also it will be compared directly to the Philip Rabo Day Pack, which is another bag in this sort of realm that is also made in a very interesting material. So stay tuned for those things for now. Bye bye kids, talk soon. Bye bye. Bye bye kids, talk soon. Bye bye, bye bye. It's a lot of buys. Anyway. Ugh. Oh, I forgot they never undo the, eh, whatever. Make sure I don't lose that for later.